know him as Black Alien Project 2. You know, the guy who transformed himself to look like an alien. Welcome back, welcome back, Duality 9Xers. Wherever you are, whatever you guys are, we have such amazing representation. Our community is growing, it's strong. We've got representation from all four corners of this wonderful planet. Now, I'm really intrigued because because our community is growing stronger and because it's growing bigger, I would love to know what part of the world our subscribers are from. So, if you guys get a chance, you know, drop a comment or two and just say hello from Sweden or from Belgium, from the Netherlands, from wherever. Uh, I'd love to know. Um, I think it's fascinating. I think it's exciting. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll get a chance to, to do a video or two uh, from your part of the world. So we completed one of our first promotions, uh, the Google Nest Mini and the Amazon Echo Dot. If you guys participated in that, fantastic. Thank you so much. I told you guys, as we're growing our community, we'll definitely have some more giveaways, uh, some more promotions. Uh, so for those of you that won, you have been notified. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. And uh, we'll exchange contact information and go from there. Now, our, our next big thing is we're, we're, we're aiming for 1,000 subscribers. Once we get to 1,000 subscribers, and as we're getting there, I'm gonna think of a pretty cool promotion. Uh, I wanna do a few giveaways, of course, uh, once we hit that milestone. And then, of course, we're talking about the 10,000 subs. And uh, I think you guys heard in the last video uh, some of the things that I'm planning for, for that one, because that's gonna be a huge milestone. We're gonna give away some really, really fancy, fancy um, things. Now, we got a great video today. Today, I'm featuring PK Chronicles. He's a, a phenomenal YouTuber. He he has, like when you're talking about value added content, uh, this guy has it all. He's got a great screen presence. He's got good quality content. And it kind of, uh, the, so our video today is gonna be along kind of like tra uh, body transformations, uh, modifications, tattoos. So you guys, you guys probably seen my last video or one of my, one of my earlier videos, sorry. Uh, the Black Alien Returns Project, and uh, that was a pretty cool video. And uh, it featured a, a gentleman who did a complete body transformation. Uh, he, he went as far as to not only just tattoo his entire body, but he got body modifications as well. He tattooed his eyeballs, and uh, it was pretty interesting. So uh, if you guys haven't had a ch chance to check it out, uh, I put the link uh, in the description and also here so that you guys can take a look at it. So. Um, it's very interesting stuff. Um, you know, uh, I find it quite peculiar, uh, you know, because it, it's interesting to the extent that people will go to look completely different. Now, what might be strange to us may not necessarily be strange to them. So I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to provide you guys with content. And I want to show you guys some of the videos uh, looped into one that PK Chronicles uh, did on his YouTube channel. So if you wanna check him out, I encourage you guys to do so. His, the links to his, uh, the link, sorry, to his YouTube channel uh, and information is all in the description. All right, guys, you know I got my beverage. I know you guys too, so uh, you guys have yours too. Uh, so strap in, put your seatbelt on because it's about to go down. So without further ado, let's get it, guys. Let's go. This is Michel Ferro do Prado, a 45-year-old dad from Brazil who's modifying his Holy body to look smokes. as sinister as possible. We all know tattoos and body modifications are widely accepted by society, but at what point are these enhancements considered too far? Some people refer to him as Black Alien Project 2. You know, the guy who transformed himself to look like an alien. I mean, when you see the side-by-side -side of these two, the resemblance is, well, yeah, you get the picture. In simple words, Those they look a look lot alike. alike. Yeah. But I actually think Prado is further along in his journey compared to Black Alien. So let's dive in and see just how far Prado has taken his modifications. And don't worry, I'm gonna slowly ease you in on this. His nickname is the Human Satan, and he's had an interest in body art all of his life. 
It wasn't until he met his wife Carol that he took things to the next level. Wow. He has a full tattoo bodysuit from head to toe and the majority of his ink is black work which pretty much means you sit there and black out your body, in case anyone asked. Having wow. his entire body tattooed wasn't enough though, because he chose to go through with the risky procedure of tattooing his eyeballs as well. This is a procedure that involves injecting a certain type of dye into your eyeballs, and if it's done incorrectly, then you could go blind. Luckily for our friend, he was fine. For now. We'll get to the other complications soon. He's also got a split tongue, a bunch of subdermal implants in his face and head, along with a few horns. If you've seen my videos before, then you know this subject is pretty normal and I've brought up many people who've done this procedure quite often. And so this brings us to the more extreme stuff. Before, I was showing you what he added to his body. Now I'm gonna show you what he's removed from his body. The cases are about to get more and more extreme, so hang on tight, okay? Many people dream of having beautiful straight white teeth, but if you want to look sinister, you can't have that. Don't worry, our boy Prado already thought of this, because he ended up sharpening all of his wow. teeth. But who are we kidding? That's not enough. He took it a step further and customized those teeth to make them look metal. And if we're going really crazy with it, we gotta add in tusks. Prado He's spent a tusks. little under $1,000 for tusk implants. I'm gonna ignore the fact that those tusks cost less than me fixing my teeth normally. But damn, I wonder what eating feels like for him. Could you imagine trying to gobble down a juicy 8 ounce steak with those? Anyways, none of these compare to the three modifications he did next. Because the first one was the removal of his ears. Not gonna lie, as weird as that sounds, this procedure is starting to become really popular, and I've seen a whole bunch of people doing it. Do I get why he did that? No. Is it my business? Not really. If he wants to remove flaps of his ears, then hey, it's his life. Even wow. though ear removal is starting to gain a bit of popularity, the next procedure is very rare. Like finding a legendary Pokemon rare. And that's the removal of his nose. They say that there's only three people in the entire world who've had this procedure done. There's only three people in the entire world who've had this procedure done. Take it in, out of 7 billion people, only three of them have this. Never mind all the other modifications. If he really wanted to stand out, this is how he achieved it. As of now, there's still no insight on the future health ramifications of a nose removal, which is a pretty scary thought. Now, you thought it was over, but no. We have the granddaddy of all modifications, the removal of his ring finger. Okay, I know Black Alien wanted to do I don't this, understand but Otto beat him to the punch. Out of all of the modifications, this one's probably the craziest. I would completely understand if he wanted to add a sixth finger. Could you imagine the possibilities with that? But removing huh. one of your digits? What do you guys want me to say? I'm speechless. Doesn't that hinder a majority of things you do in your daily life? I don't want to judge, wow. but you know, wow. I just don't get it. For all of these previous procedures, there haven't been repercussions yet. However, yes. recently he suffered from some complications due to corrected surgery. In March, Prado underwent liposuction and had excess skin including his belly button removed. It was said that the operation went well and he recovered just fine. But he noticed there was a small amount of excess skin left. So he went in for another round of surgery and this is where it all went downhill. His wife says a few days after the procedure, the stitches began oh. to open up and they couldn't oh keep gosh. it closed. Prado stated he was in a lot of pain and couldn't move around, thinking it may have been infected. Since then, they've managed to raise a bit of money to help with the operation, but no new updates have been given. Overall, Prado claims nothing else hurts much. He says, I have a good resistance to pain. I don't think anything is so painful. I suffer a lot more in the post procedures than at the time. But if I have to feel pain to achieve what I want, for sure I'll face it. Though his wow. tattoos and enhancements are done by paid professionals, he's also a canvas for his wife who specializes in body modifications. He says he ultimately wants to become her masterpiece. He's not gonna stop anytime soon. What's really interesting is that he's accumulated over 90,000 followers on Instagram who are eager to see his next move. And some fans have even pinned Prado and Black Alien against each other as rivals. But it seems that these two get along just fine. Prado has no interest in being like Black Alien, and he's on his own journey. Now, let me know your thoughts on this. How much further do you think he's gonna take it? At any rate, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on his story and a lot more, so make sure to subscribe with the bell notification. Guys, that that is absolutely wow. Like, I've, 
never met anybody who's done anything to that degree, to that level, to their body, right? In terms of body modifications, the level of ink that they have on themselves. Um, that is surreal. That is surreal. He removed his nose. And they, 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 you know, this gentleman talked about the fact that there's only three people on the planet who have removed their nose. And right now, as it stands, we don't know the ramifications of what that could potentially yield for these three individuals, you know, in the coming years. I mean, we hope that everybody's fine and that nothing, nothing goes wrong and that their health is good, but that is scary stuff. I mean, we, there's a reason we have a nose. There's a reason we have eyes. There's a reason we have our ears. Like every body part, there's of important significance and value. So when you start removing your ears, you're removing your nose, you're removing your limbs, you know, like to remove your fingers. Like uh, I think uh, in, in one of Arthur Brule who covered the black alien in, in the video that I featured, uh, the reaction video that I had, uh, I think he, he was indicating something along the lines that the black alien wanted to remove or amputate his leg or, or feet or something along that line those lines I mean that's just absolutely insane mind-boggling stuff uh, do you guys happen to know anybody who's you know gone to this level to this extent in terms of body modifications and ink if you have put it in the comment so let's go to the next one here most craziest modifications one could think of but years later he comes to find that he's regretting some of those decisions. Now before we talk about what he regrets and why he regrets them, let's talk about what mind-blowing procedures Ethan did to get the title of the world's most modified wow. youth. When Ethan was only 11, while other kids were most likely playing video games or goofing off, he got his first body modification, which was the stretching of his ears. And over time, his earlobe stretched out further and further. And a year later, when he turned 12, him and his friends got their hands on a tattoo machine and pretty much oh. ended up doodling on themselves with permanent ink. But the real fun started when he was 15. Cause from there he began getting tattoos from actual artists and his collection of ink spread all over his body. Never mind the easily hideable spots like the back, legs, chest and even arms, his tattoos started creeping up onto his face, having as much wow. as 30 pieces in just that area alone. But at some point he said forget this, let's go more extreme. And so he went ahead and blacked out half of his face. Wow. No designs, just pure black ink. But guys, this is just the beginning, cause now we enter the no return modifications, meaning the ones he got next are stuck with him for life. Around the age of 17, he started branding himself, then punched out his nostrils, and from That's there, he moved on to tattooing his eyeballs black. Unlike getting tattoos on your body, there's no going back from this procedure. So once you ink your eyeballs, you're stuck like this. Things only got more wild when he removed a portion of his ears, and wow. while we're at it, let's get rid of the belly button as well. Now, his next modification is apparently a crowd Whoa. favorite, and that's the silicone implant on his hand, which were inserted underneath his skin. And to make matters more say, creepy, it, like it comes in the shape of a spider. Crazy what can be done these days. However, with all of these modifications, wow. he says the worst one was his tongue split, because during the healing process, things got so bad that he couldn't eat for two to three days. Not to mention he couldn't take any pain medication either. He even tried sucking it up in a baby syringe in order to take it in that way, but no bueno, it didn't work. Another problem was nap time. Cause you see, in order to not choke on his saliva oh while he's passed out, he had to sleep sitting up. As someone who's had to sleep sitting up due to a rib injury, brother, I feel you. It's one of the most unpleasant experiences. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, what do all of these modifications and tattoos cost him? And how does he afford this? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Because according to him, it didn't cost much. Simply because the majority of them were done by his close friends. Meaning, you know, friends discount. But if you really want to know, he says it would have been upwards of $60,000. Now, this is where our story takes a turn. 
Originally, he was modifying himself because he liked looking different and got a sense of empowerment. He could walk down the street and he's the main event, all eyes on him. He even once said he was never gonna stop getting modified, so what changed? Usually when you're going through life living for yourself, your enjoyment and your comfort, you pretty much do whatever you want without a care in the world. However, when this thing called responsibility gets dropped on your head, that's when, for most people, maturity sets in. In his case, responsibility came in the form of his daughter. Cause you see, as Ethan got older, he began wishing he didn't go as far as he did with getting face tattoos, saying he'd love to be able to go pick up his daughter from school without having the other children or the parents of those children freak out. Rightfully so. Imagine wanting to do something as simple as that, but anytime you do it, you feel extremely uncomfortable. Even though realistically, his tattoos and body modifications would never affect anyone else, right? But the reality is, people will always be judged and treated differently for something as extreme as that. Which is also why he attributes a lot of his anxiety to having a face full of ink. So what do you think he did to fix all of this? Well, over the past year, he's been under the laser six to wow. seven times, trying to remove the tattoos wow. on his face. Yeah. And it actually seems like it's working really well for him. He claims he was super excited about the next chapter in his journey, in the sense that over the next couple of years, he can clear the canvas and have a fresh face, starting from new. Hey, kudos to him. You know, at the end of the day, I always say it's your life, your choice. And it really seems like his daughter had a hey, kind of cut off there at the end. Uh... That, that is interesting. Uh, such a young, a young adult. At, I mean, it seems like he was getting ink be prior to the age of 12. And uh, when, when most kids are, are just kind of, you know, playing video games or they're on their iPad and just, you know, oblivious, oblivious to what's going on in the world that most of the time. Um, this individual uh, and his friends, I guess the social circle, found a way to entertain themselves by by literally doodling on themselves um, and experimenting with uh, ink. And you know, and then the modifications started to happen. He got his earring, stretched out his ear, continued to stretch it out uh, to the point where he started branding him, branding himself. You know, and just modifications and lots of ink and tattooing his eyeballs uh, which is such a dangerous procedure and so one of the video clips and I please stay can watch this till the end guys because one of the clips that I'm gonna show you talks about some of the dangers about tattooing your eyeballs and the ramifications in the event that something goes wrong so um, and it's important to know because if you're on the on the fence about deciding that you want to go through this journey you have to understand and, and take note of, of all the possible things that could go wrong. And so, you know, in this young, young adult's life, he started to obtain some responsibility by having a, a daughter and uh, realizing that he didn't want to run the risk of his daughter being humiliated or uh, people being, you know, poking fun at her or, or even at him at his expense. You know, when he comes to pick her up, he decided to make some changes and to try to remove some of that ink. And it did look like he was making a, a notable difference there. But I'm not sure if he's just doing that with the intent that he could start from scratch again and, and you know, tattoo uh, and ink up his face. Who knows? His choice, his life, but definitely, definitely uh, interesting video. So let's watch the next one, guys that go to the extreme to get the look they desire which is why today we're going to talk about 10 people whom some might say took their tattoos and body modifications too wow. far and the number one person this time might have topped out anyone else who's ever been on this list so stay tuned for that number 10 ralph bashov oh. a man who holds the world's record for having the most body modifications oh. out of those 516 modifications 560. 268 of those are on his oh i mean if it's 268 of them, I think we gotta give him a bit more credit than that. Oh. Yeah, that's more like it. Anyways, he has 90% of his body covered in tattoos, and he started this journey later in life at the age of 40 like years old. He's got horn implants on his people. head, six subdermal implants in his arms, magnetic implants in his hands, 
and the tattooing of his eyeballs. But despite all of these extreme procedures, he says the most painful modification of them all was his palm tattoos. Number 9. Tiamat Legion Medusa wow. Born a man, then transitioning to a woman, and finally into a reptile. Wow. Tiamat is dubbed the Dragon Lady and has spent over $70,000 modifying herself. So far she has a tongue split, 8 horns, the reshaping of the nose, eyeballs tattooed green, and the removal of most of her teeth and ears oh to resemble gosh. a serpent dragon saying serpents don't have ears. On top of all of that, she's working on completing her full tattoo bodysuit. In 1997, Tiamat was diagnosed with HIV. That and a number of unfortunate past traumas gave her a sort of disdain towards humans. Not wanting to be like them, she decided she wasn't going to pass away as one either, thus beginning her journey to transform herself. In her other life, Richard was a banker in the corporate scene, then 15 years later leaving the industry as the vice president. Now Tiamat says she lives her life the way she wants, marching to the beat of her own drum. Number 8. Mm. Diablo Delinfer, a man who spent $17,000 transforming himself to look like the devil. It started with Teflon implants in his forehead acting as horns. Then he got fangs, followed by a split tongue and massive tribal tattoos on his face. He's even went as far as getting his eyeballs tattooed red. Delinfer claims he's not satanic, and the reason he chose to transform himself to look like the devil man was because everything else was taken. He wants to be diverse and unique and says body modifications is his life journey. However, he admits that his wow. appearance has had some repercussions, saying it's a lot harder to meet someone looking like this. But he's going to continue modifying his body no matter what and he's going to continue his quest to find love. Number 7. Tom Leopard aka The Leopard Man Now, let's not mistake him for Larry the Leopard who was on this list in the previous episodes. Tom held the world's Guinness record for being the most tattooed male, wow. but when Lucky Diamond Rich took that crown, he was then acknowledged as the most tattooed senior citizen. He spent $7,000 covering 99% of his body in leopard-like designs. What's really fascinating about his story is that for 20 years, he lived remotely in a self-made shelter without electricity or modern technology, and once a week, he would kayak to the mainlands to get supplies. But around the age of 73, he admitted he was getting too old for that stuff, so he moved into a normal one-bedroom home. Tom didn't regret his extreme appearance and said he became a sort of local attraction and loved the attention he got from it. Number 6. Sandro aka Mr. Skullface wow. This German man has been Whoa. making headlines in the past year for his extreme body modifications. Sandro is heavily tattooed all over his body and face. He spent over $7,000 to change his appearance by getting his eyeballs tattooed black, getting subdermal implants in his forearms and both of his hands and horns on his head. His most recent modification was removing his ears which he now keeps in a jar. Wow. He does admit that all of this has affected his love life and career. Though Sandro advises people to think hard before getting into extreme body modifications, he himself has no regrets and doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Number 5. Isabel Varley A legend in the tattoo world who also held the world's record for being the most tattooed female senior citizen. Wow. She got her first one at a tattoo convention in 1986 at the age of 40 and worked her way from the top all the way down to her feet saying she caught the tattoo bug and couldn't stop. Her most talked about tattoos are the ones that are, um, well, you know. She's got them tattooed on the front of her head, wow. the back of her head, and the side of her face. I guess that's a testament to her great sense of humor. Her advice to anyone getting a tattoo is, if you're gonna have one done, you've gotta think about it carefully because it's gonna last a very long time. So you've gotta be sure that's what you want. Number four, Maria Spellig a heavily tattooed Twitch streamer from Germany. She's been branded, has her tongue split along with many piercings and tattooed one of her eyeballs black, saying the procedure didn't scare her cause she was gonna do it no matter what. For the most part, people approach her and tell her they respect the look. However, she has dealt with some really negative people as well. The two worst incidents were when someone stopped right in front of her and asked her if she knew how ugly she was and also the time she was spat on by two people. Even though she's dealt with negative situations like that, she says she's never gonna stop what she's doing and she admits that her unique look attracts more viewers to her platform. Number three, Farah Flawless, a body mod artist who covered the majority of her body in heavy black ink. Struggling from gender dysphoria and not being happy with who she was, Farah was going through a sort of dilemma. 
she was either going to do what she wanted and be free or the other option which was not a positive final outcome. She ended up modifying her body to her liking, saying if you could think of a body modification, I've probably done it. Quite noticeably, her heavy face tattoos was a way to hide how she felt about her face. However, as the years went on, she realized her actions were a sort of hasty decision. And now, discovering herself and being more comfortable with who she is, Farah's currently going through laser removal treatment to get rid of the ink on her face. Number 2. Katzen Hobbs, a mother of two who spent over a decade covering 90% of her body in stripes, turning herself into wow, the tiger, tiger woman. Many people start off getting tattoos not having a goal in mind. However, Katzen has had this vision in her head from a young age. Living in Japan at the age of 9, she realized she could turn her dream into a reality. But it wasn't until she was 18 when she finally started her project. She's had work done by 160 different artists, including 23 at the same time, saying the pain was so intense that she actually fainted a few times. Hobbs loves working as a tattoo artist and sideshow performer because it allows her to show people the beauty that comes within, saying most of us are more than skin deep. I feel more beautiful this way. Number 1. Michelle Ferro du Prado, a tattoo artist who is obsessed with transforming his body to become the human Satan. Prado has the majority of his body covered in black work tattoos. Along with his heavy ink, he also has a number of horns on his head, a few subdermal implants, many piercings, a tongue split, fang-like teeth, and the tattooing of his eyeballs. If you've watched this series long enough on my channel, then you would know that this is pretty normal to see. However, he's taken it a step further and added silver tusks to his mouth. But that's not all, because he's removed his ears and his nose as well. Hold on, hold on. It doesn't stop there, because he recently removed his... Yeah, his ring finger is now gone. Prado says he has a very high pain tolerance and that he's willing to go through it all in order to get the body he desires. This story gets a lot deeper, so let me know if you guys want me to make an in-depth video on him the same way I did with the Black Alien project. Now if you enjoyed watching, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe button for a lot more videos like this. As always, I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in- Wow, wow, wow. I mean, it seems like it's a growing trend more and more people are starting to wowzers wow it this definitely seems like it's a growing trend more and more people are starting to look at not just getting one two three like they're covering themselves up with ink and then they're taking it to another level with modifying their body putting horns you got you know that one individual that we featured recently uh, with tusks and he made all his teeth like metal looking and um, and then you know the implants that they put in their body and stuff like that to give these and you know to remove their ears so that they could look more serpent like and to remove their noses like I still can't get over that I still can't get over it that three people and who knows maybe by now maybe there's a lot more people doing it but removing your entire nose guys and you could see like, like, oh, that's just, wow. And then to tattoo your eyes, like, I mean, I, you, get, you feel a little pinch and you're like, oh my gosh, you, you know, these guys like to endure that kind of pain and to continue on with their journey. Wow. These guys have some high, high, high pain tolerance for sure. All right, so we're on our last video, guys. We're talking about tattooing the eyes. These days is the tattooing of the eyeballs. Though they might look cool to some, such a procedure has some serious consequences. Because if done wrong, it could potentially cause you to lose your sight. Which is why today, we're going to talk about 6 people who went blind getting their eyes tattooed. However, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for a lot more videos like this. And without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. Whoa. Number 6, Kat Gallinger, a model from Ottawa, Canada. Kat wanted her eyeballs to be purple, so she decided to go ahead and get her right eye tattooed. 
Now, unlike regular tattoos, getting your eyeballs tatted is a completely different procedure. It's done by using a needle to inject the ink underneath the top layer of the eye and onto the sclera a few times allowing the ink to spread in patches. This practice requires a high level of precision and experience, but unfortunately for Kat, things turned oh very gosh. bad very quick. She said as oh soon as the procedure gosh. was finished, she knew right away something was wrong. Within several hours, the ink built up in her eye, causing her vision to become blurred along with severe pains. Her eyes started oozing out purple ink, and the next day it was closed shut. According to her, a few things oh caused God. this to happen. One, the artist didn't mix the ink with any saline. Two, he used a large needle instead of a small one, which went too deep into the eye. And three, instead of doing several small dosages, she took one large injection during a 10 minute sitting. A few weeks later, the doctors told her that she was at risk of losing her eyes permanently and the internal swelling of her eye hadn't gone down. She went on social media and posted this. So next Thursday, if this doesn't work, my cornea is way too thin and at high risk of rupturing. If it does rupture Holy. before, during or afterwards, I lose my eye. Thankfully though, she was spared from having her eyes removed. But these days, she still deals with mild symptoms and warns people never to do this. Number 5. Popek a Polish rapper and professional MMA fighter who took his body modifications to another level. With him, it started with one modification, and the next thing he knew, he heard about the tattooing of the eyeballs and immediately wanted to get it done himself. The procedure itself took 40 minutes to complete, and he spent over $6,000 for it. Unfortunately for him though, within the first 24 hours of getting it, the ink started to spill out of his eye. Then came terrible pain, and finally he ended up going blind. Luckily though, the blindness only lasted one month. He compares the pain of the tattoo to someone putting cigarettes in his eyes, saying it's a very weird feeling because throughout the whole process, you have to be very relaxed. Upon completion of the surgery, he couldn't sleep and was crying all day. A few months later, he had to perform the procedure again for one of his eyes because green tears would constantly leak out of it. They did one shot and the problem was solved. These days, Popek has to wear glasses because his eyesight has diminished by 30%. Despite all of that, he says he doesn't regret doing the procedure. However, he always warns his fans never to get their eyeballs tattooed, especially if they don't have a sense of direction in life or they aren't financially secure. Number 4. Aleksandra Sadowska, a model from Poland. She decided to get an eyeball tattoo to emulate Popek, the guy we just talked about. The tattoo artist allegedly oh used standard gosh. ink for the skin, which is not what's used for the eye. Immediately after the procedure, Alexandra complained that she was feeling very sharp pains in her eyeballs, but was reassured by the artist that the pain was normal and could be treated with painkillers. Alexandra underwent three procedures to restore her eyesight, but she wasn't so lucky. She ended up going completely blind in her right eye. The doctors claimed that it was too late and there was no hope for her to regain her eyesight back because the ink had already reached the tissues. At this point, the damages were irreversible and she would slowly lose her eyesight in her left eye as well. Local media said the artist was facing a potential three-year sentence in prison for unintentionally severely disabling Alexandra. Alexandra's lawyer said, there is clear evidence that the tattoo artist did not know how to perform such a delicate procedure. Despite the tragedy, she had this to say, I'm afraid I'll be completely blind. I will not lock myself in the basement and get depressed. I have sadness behind me, but I live on. Number 3. Sarah Sabbath, a 26 year old woman from El Paso, Texas. When she was younger, she used to get bullied a lot for a way for her to feel more like herself and the pain she endured from it made her feel stronger. Sarah wanted to get her eyeballs tattooed purple, but unfortunately, things didn't exactly go her way. The artist incorrectly measured the solution using more of the ink and not enough saline. This mistake left her blind. She didn't want to do anything. She didn't like being around bright lights. She didn't like going outside and ended up becoming very, very depressed from it. She eventually paid a visit to a specialist and received a series of prescribed eye drops to help her improve her vision. Thankfully for Sarah, her eyesight has become better over time. However, she says her eyes still bother her pretty bad to this day. When asked if she regrets the decision of getting an eyeball tattoo, she said no. Simply put, that experience helped her become a better person and that's not going to stop her from getting more tattoos in the future. Number 2, we have Amber Luke who also goes by Blue Eyes White Dragon. Amber is no stranger when it comes to body modifications. 
She was diagnosed with severe clinical depression at a young age and growing up she struggled with her self image and hated herself so much to the point that she couldn't even look in the mirror. Getting her first tattoo, she realized quickly that she loved the feeling it gave her and felt the negative energy she had was now being released. So naturally, getting those tattoos was a way for her to feel better about herself and feel more comfortable in her own skin. However, her tattoo addiction caused her to fall deeper into the rabbit hole and she started getting extreme body modifications which cost her $120,000 total. It didn't stop there because her most dangerous modification was the tattooing of her eyeballs. The procedure oh took gosh. 40 minutes to complete and they injected each eye four times. Unfortunately for her, the artist went too deep and Amber knew something was wrong immediately. This mistake caused her to go blind for three weeks. She said, I can't even begin to describe to you what the feeling was like. The best thing I can give you is once the eyeball was penetrated with the ink, it felt like the tattoo artist grabbed 10 shards of glass and rubbed it in my eye. Since then, she has fully recovered and she says she doesn't plan on getting any more modifications that's as extreme as that one. Number one, a 24 year old man whose identity is disclosed. The young man decided to get his eyeballs tattooed, but the worst case scenario happened to him. While the tattoo artist was injecting the ink into his first eye, he experienced a sudden painful loss of vision. However, the man decided to seek treatments three days after the incident and according to experts, the artist went too deep. It turns out that the lens was damaged by the needle during the procedure, so the doctors had to remove the lens of his eyes. They also found that the ink had been contaminated with bacteria, which made matters worse. To control the infection, they had to perform two surgeries, but unfortunately for him, he was in so much pain that they had to remove his entire eye. After removing his eye, they realized that even if they could have saved it, he would still have serious vision problems for the rest of his life because his retina and the inside of his eye Guys, was stained was with so ink. An absolute tragedy, beautiful. but unfortunately, For these are the watch. types of risks you guys, that come with a procedure I mean, like this. Let me know. Guys, that was so painful for me to watch. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, that was just shocking. Like, again, like the, the, the level of pain tolerance these people have is so uncanny. It's not like, the average person I can't even begin to think about the mental acuity somebody would need to be able to put themselves in that position to get these procedures done I don't know how they do it I don't know how do you mentally prepare for having needles stuck inside your eyeball with ink now if you guys recall I, I had a, an earlier video um, and I'll have to find it where they have a new medical procedure that can change the color of your eyes so you can go from brown to green or blue to green or green to whatever and it's a medical procedure it's not FDA approved but a lot of people are doing it it's a cosmetic procedure um, it's not tattooing or whole eyes but just changing the color of your eyes now again it's too early to to know if if there's any kind of ramifications associated with that but um uh, i'm sure that people that want to follow through with changing the color of their eyes or going through these kind of procedures are taking the time to invest in ensuring that they're going through somebody who's trained to be able to do this type of work so very very interesting videos uh, please, please smash the like and subscribe, not only to us, but to PK Chronicles, who's done a phenomenal job putting these videos together, and he has more. So follow him, follow him on YouTube, follow him on his social media accounts. Uh, he continues to pump out value-added content. Uh, I definitely enjoy his videos. I'm sure you guys uh, have as well. Um, again, uh, very, very interesting uh, the things that people do to the extent that they do to be able to be and look different. It's absolutely incredible. But guys, we've reached that time again and I want to thank you guys for, for staying here and uh, watching the end of this video. Uh, please, again, smash the like and subscribe, comment, and hey, put in a comment where you guys are from. It would be nice to know uh, where you guys are. So uh, thank you again for, um, for subscribing. 
Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to our next adventure. So in the meantime and in between time, please don't do anything that could be injurious to your health. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I look forward to catching you guys on the next one.